Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to have a look at the game Genic Dungeon, at how I store my decks, and to have a little conversation about that you actually should play Magic the Gathering and not only collect it, at least in my opinion. I hope the little Marvel collection in the back didn't throw you off. Uh, I thought uh, I need to do something different when looking at the game Genic Dungeon because it's very, very big uh, and uh, it's difficult to get on the table and have a look at it with my normal camera view. So I simply put it on the floor and I actually use the display cases <laughs> as lighting uh, so you can see uh, the boxes a bit better because the normal light uh, next to the desk is a bit dark but I hope it's visible quite well and it should be. Before we dive a bit deeper into the conversation let me quickly welcome you to this video. It's awesome you're here, it's awesome you are watching this video together with me and I really appreciate it if you would leave a comment and let me know what you think about the video. Also, if you are a first time viewer of my videos, please uh, subscribe uh, and uh, like the video as well because that helps me grow the channel. And uh, yeah, that uh, would of course be something I appreciate very much. After I released the video about me focusing on buying old cards most of the time, I got a lot of questions about if I don't buy new cards at all. And I showed a couple of new things in that video as well, like the new challenger decks and like the Dungeons and Dragons collector box, because I really like Dungeons and Dragons and I wanted to open it. Still haven't, but still will. Time is, uh, is a big factor for me. But after I got that video, I got the question if I buy uh, other stuff as well, simply to play the game. And I wanted to show you, and I think I mentioned it in that video as well, that I definitely do buy a lot of modern stuff too, but not the most expensive ones. You see here the decks, I'm going through them in the Game Genic Dungeon, which is my preferred storage solution. I think it's just a brilliant heavy duty deck box and I can simply throw it in the trunk full of decks and totally heavy and it won't break, it won't damage easily. I can take it uh, with me to Germany, I can take it with me to work to play with a couple of buddies there. Um, I think it's a it's a very good, uh, very well made uh, deck box, uh, the Game Genic Dungeon. As you saw, I got five of them. And what I normally do is like, yeah, here you see the Challenger deck 2020, you saw all the other decks as well. I normally put um, a little a note in there what kind of deck it, uh, it is. Yeah, all the Challenger decks of 2020 are in here, the Commander decks of 2020 and the Sendika Rising Commander decks. But what I normally do is I buy the pre-constructed decks and most of the time I buy, I enjoy the um, Challenger decks because I think they are well made and they are often balanced very well. <laughs> the cat is whining, I just threw him out, sorry. Um, no, they are often um, balanced very well and what I do is I buy these um, Ultimate Guard uh, boulders. I double sleeve the pre-constructed decks and I put them in the corresponding boulders. I mean uh, like a commander deck of course you need one for 100 double sleeve cards normal challenger deck I normally need one for about 80 cards because the challenger decks have like a 15 card sideboard and I put them in these game genic dungeons and I normally take them along everywhere I uh, go if I want to play magic the gathering at least normally I take one and I fill them with the I fill it with the cards or with the decks I, I, I want to play with at uh, that time and like that I always have something to play with because uh, okay I, I know I, I Magic the Gathering is about building decks and I love building decks as well but um, I can get lost in building decks and I normally try to do that with the with the old cards and these uh, game genic dungeons and these pre-constructed decks uh, that works very well for me um, I can I can advise you to like fill one with pre-constructed decks and uh, yeah, you will be good to play for uh, quite a while, even if your friends don't have decks. And if you double sleeve them, I mean, um, yeah, uh, nothing happens to the cards. Um, you got these boulders like you see here, you got them in different sizes. 
I just have a look at uh, at the uh, at the content of, of the different boxes. So you look at them in like uh, I think uh, the smallest one is like the forty card uh, deck box I got here. Then it's like a sixty card, uh, and then eighty, and then a hundred. These these are the ones I got. I think they even got different sizes, but those are um, the best format for me. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the ninth edition deck box we uh, we talked about in a previous video. Um, you can put everything here. These are my foils with uh, jewelers loop. Uh, normally, I take along the jewelers loop as well in the game genic boxes. Uh, as you see on the top right, uh, you uh, you can also take boosters. Here, I got yeah, just like a couple of uh, random rare cards from uh, different uh, different sets. I use the game genic dungeons as well just to like more or less store like uh, the rare cards, the premium cards uh, that are, shouldn't end up in bulk boxes. And I try to avoid having too many bulk boxes and I try to focus uh, and only keep the cards I need. But all in all, these, these heavy duty deck boxes are really, really awesome. And if you combine them with the dungeons, the decks will stay good for such a long time that you will always have something to play with and that is actually what magic is about so yeah um i quickly showed like the the um cover you can take it off it uh, is very well uh, connected to the to the box itself you can use it as a playmat which i normally don't but you can easily put it uh, like under uh, the box and fold it up so you can easily access the box and the cover is not uh, yeah in your way or uh, yeah floating around in the room or whatever uh, i really like the game genic dungeon uh, as you saw and i think i said it before as you saw i have five and I use them not only uh, to uh, store the pre-constructed decks I keep in their original form, but also like here to store like uh, more or less more valuable cards, rare cards, um, boosters, life counters, these kind of things. Um, yeah, folks, I quickly wanted to talk about that because I got the question and I thought it might be an interesting subject for you as well. Next video will be up on Sunday, my birthday. Uh, I actually received uh, my first uh, fan mail. Sorry, Lion, I'm calling it fan mail. Here it is. Um, I'm covering up the uh, sender with my with my thumb. Uh, but yeah, there seem to be magic cards in here. And um, this was a gift from uh, Savannah Lion. You probably will find him in the comments. Uh, check out his channel. He's, he's uh, starting up uh, doing videos as well. And he's a really big part of the MTG community and he's talking uh, to so many people in a very nice way so um, yeah his uh, presence and uh, of course his present and his presence uh, are very much appreciated so thanks uh, Lion, thank you all um, I saved up uh, for a personal birthday present for myself uh, a higher end reserve list card I think I mentioned that before as well, but uh, that will um, be live in a video on Sunday too. Um, that's why I didn't uh, upload that many <laughs> reserved list buys recently, um, simply because I didn't have the funds, because I was saving up for something bigger. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's one of the one of the chase cards of mine. And I honestly hope you enjoyed this video, even though it's uh, not about uh, specific cards in particular, but uh, yeah, uh, about a very useful tool uh, to enjoy Magic the Gathering with, a very useful deck box. I would say I hope I see you on Sunday as well. Let me know as well what you think about my shorts. Uh, the short, Not the shorts, eat my shorts. Uh, Let's see if I can find something of Bart Simpson I can put on the screen here. Um, no, uh, about my short videos. Um, I'm curious what you think about those. They they are going quite uh, well. Um, they are perceived quite well, I think, because they get uh, quite some use, um, which which is cool. Um, still figuring out what to, to do with them, but I, I wanted to try stuff out. I always try to try new things. Um, but if you see those, let me know what you think about them. 
And until Sunday, um, I hope you check check in uh, on Sunday for my birthday. Until then, I wish you a very nice uh, weekend and uh, stay frosty, uh, stay healthy and talk to you next time, folks. All right. Bye. Thanks, folks. Bye.